Now take a look as we arm this up for the approach. When you're clear for the approach, you're going to push the approach mode push button, ILS, right? Push the approach mode push button, go for the second autopilot, and what we're looking at here in the FMA is going to be GS Loc Blue Cat 3 Dual Autopilot 1 and 2. And you have to call all of that out. Okay, common mistake, everybody goes straight for Cat 3 Dual Autopilot 1 and 2. And a lot of times, flight crews will overlook the GS Loc Blue. Why? Because it's not boxed. It's not boxed. And of course, our eyes, naturally, they're going to the area, the, the items, the modes that are boxed. So you want to call out everything that's blue, GS, Loc Blue, right? Lights look blue, localizer blue, as well as Cat 3 Dual Autopilot 1 and 2. You've got to call everything out, and don't be fooled. Just because it doesn't happen to be boxed, it still is blue, and you do need to call that out. Now, good example here of how the only way that you can manage vertically is to be managed laterally. Let me say that again. If you are in nav, then you can go ahead and push for climb. Climb and nav will go together, no problem, because managed laterally, you can also manage vertically. However, if you are not managed laterally, you cannot be managed vertically. So here's a great example of this, where we are nabbing, and all of a sudden ATC has issued us a heading. So we select heading, we pull for heading, and all of a sudden we go from climb to open climb. Right? Open climb is not a managed climb. Climb mode is managed climb. Okay. Notice how when we go heading, which is not managed laterally, it kicks us out into open climb, which again is not managed vertically. Now a good way to remember that, of course, is think about an ILS approach. You don't want to descend on the glide slope if you're not tracking the localizer, right? You want to be on a published segment, on an established segment of the approach. So you want to be on the localizer, tracking loc, right? And then, and only then, will we want to descend on the glide slope. So we want to get on that published segment first, and then we're going to be able to track vertically down to the runway. And the same thing applies here, whereby you cannot be managed, as mentioned, vertically if you're not man uh, managed laterally, right? So we've got to be managed laterally before the aircraft will follow a managed path vertically.